If you guys are new to the channel, it really helps me out when you support the channel. So please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite plugins are. Also, check out my console classic sessions pack. It's available now. It's based off of the original legacy plugins that come with all Apollo interfaces, and it's a really quick way to learn traditional signal flows in studios. And I also have this awesome new Stuido merch, which you can check out as well. It really helps me out anytime anybody supports the channel, so I greatly appreciate it to everyone that has so far. Thank you so much, guys. All right, what is happening? I'm pretty sure I'm live here. Oh yeah. Look at that ugly mug, all right. Yeah, I'm live. Um, look, I'm gonna need you to get the wall of sound connected uh, for this one, because we got some cool stuff going on. Um, we are doing uh, actual work today. I've been absolutely slammed the last uh, handful of weeks and it's taken me a bit longer to get back to creating videos but I'm I'm deep in it right now uh, I was filming for a client earlier today and I've pretty much gotten most of that video wrapped um, and so now I'm about to move on to editing uh, my videos for you guys watching right now but I wanted to go live and I figured while I'm actually doing some real work um, I would actually just take you guys through that process and if you want to watch cool uh, if you want to ask questions please ask away I've got my stream live here um, just simply for the chat so I'm I'm watching and uh, answering questions that's that's what I'm doing here so uh, what's up Portugal uh, that's super cool that you're you found my channel and you're watching and uh, I see uh, so you got a couple people here watching. So, um, oh, Eli is, uh, he is laying down right next to me. You can't see him. And I don't really want to move the camera right now because this is also my prime filming location. <laughs> and if I move it, it'll take me a while to get it back to where I want it to be. Um, but hopefully the sound is okay. And uh, let me know if it's not. But um, yeah. What we're doing today is recently, if you guys have been following the channel, I went to Blackbird and we tracked some vocals um, for Cat's project, as well as for the YouTube video, uh, how to get a great vocal sound. So if you haven't watched it, I encourage you to check it out. Um, I, I put as much into that video as I possibly could, all the way from if you're just a beginner to being a pro. 
Um, there's something for everybody in that video, so definitely check it out if you haven't watched it. I also gave away my free vocal preset, which is available at my website, thestevekinney.com. Uh, go check it out. It's, it's free. It's killer. It's awesome. I made it for uh, my brother and I, uh, particularly my brother, but um, definitely check that out. And also uh, check out the Console Classics and Heritage Classics Packs. It's the quickest way to get production ready sounds with a click of a button. It's a great way to support the channel. And it's also a really great way to learn traditional workflows in studios everywhere. So uh, means the world, but we're going to get into it. I'll, um, I'll show you guys. Let me share my screen here. And uh, here we are. Yeah, so we're actually working in Logic today. And what we're doing is editing, uh, editing a vocal, right? So um, I don't actually typically work in Logic. And I'm actually going to uh, completely switch from Logic. But I've got two projects to finish up, and uh, this is one of them. So I'm going to take you through the song. I've got some basic processing on here, and the coolest part, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really excited. i got to take over the screen for this one. I have the Unison API uh, tracked vocal, as well as the we split the signal at Blackbird um, into the 212L mic pre, which is the you know, the API vision. So we're actually going to be able to compare on this live stream the real API versus the plugin API. And that's all the rage right now. So um, I think that that's pretty cool. So anyway, back to it, uh, back to it. If anybody has any questions about comparing those two as well, I, I you know, please ask away. So um, yeah, hey, Artix Music, ask away. Uh, Ask away on those satellite questions. Happy to answer any questions you have. Um, yeah, but anyway, yeah, let's check this out. This is this is a pretty vibey track. Um, let's get into it. So, as you can see, this track is currently I've bounced it down just for tracking purposes, and I'm going to have to make sure that this totally lines up on the grid perfectly because Logic is notorious for having all sorts of different glitches. Um, and it's a pain, honestly, it's a pain in the ass. But um, this track is real cool. It's got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff. It's got a ton of harmonies, big harmonies, real cool. Tons of stuff going on in this one. But anyways, we've stemmed it down just so I could track vocals here. Um, OK, so Nitin, I don't know how to, I, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that rightly. But Nitin asks, do you recommend the UAD plugins other than the ones it comes with? Um, if you're in reference to Logic, absolutely. Um, the stock plugin, plugins in Logic are pretty cool. I think they get the job done, but they don't really have much vibe or character. The UAD stuff is like almost entirely next level. And I'll show you an actual comparison right here on this lead vocal that we'll listen to. But let's listen to the song real quick. Here's the intro, and we'll just kind of go into it. And again, I kind of have some basic processing on, but nothing crazy. Um, you know, it, actually, it is kind of crazy. It's kind of I do the all ins button mode on this one, but let's check it out. Also, there's some auto-tune on here, um, and we're going to fix that. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use Melodyne and make this sounding radio ready by the time I'm done with the stream here. So. You strike a match to the heart in the middle of the night. Wake me up in the dark with your mouth on my hands. A searching for me beneath the sheets and saying I don't want to sleep. Pull me close enough to feel your breath Trace your fingers down the back of my neck My body is aching for you to tell me when And take me where I've never been Touching my best can be but I'm burning I can't feel the glow Temperature rise, I can't help find control I am on fire fire 
Cool, so like that kind of reached the point where we started, we needed a comp. Uh, first off, just everybody who's joined in on the uh, live stream here, what's up? Uh, thanks for joining. Um, Dom's in the house. Uh, Dom was on the, I think, yeah. Oh, cool. What's up, Carmen? Hope you guys are well up there uh, in your neck of the woods. Um, literal trash, thank you. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'd love to. I'd love to hear the the project. Uh, send me an email. We'll connect that way. Um, but yeah, no, we're just gonna comp this up. That's that's really what we're doing. But the coolest part is um, comparing the real API to, and this is just so interesting to me. But comparing the real API uh, split signal compared to the the uh, Udison pre. And this is kind of crazy because you know you'll see a lot of people on the internet do these comparisons, and all they'll do is an A B. Um, they'll never do the null test. The null test is like the most important thing. So we're gonna actually do this. We're gonna do this right, right now on the channel, live. Um, so let's do this gain plugin. All right, so if you guys don't know the null test, I've done it before in one of my videos, but it's where you compare the signals um, by flipping them out of phase and hearing what is different. Uh, you, hit, you hear the difference, because if it's completely in phase, it will just cancel itself out. So sounds kind of silly and complex, but, um, but this is what we're gonna do. So first, what we wanna do is just listen to this dry unison API sound um, and we'll just go loop this section real quick and try to see where the peaks hit Touching my best skin, baby. I'm burning a okay so 11 11 and a half let's compare the API line in Touching my best skin, baby. I'm burning. I can't. Okay, so 11 and a half. We need to take away what? About a. About a dB. No, a little less than a dB. 0.7 dB. Somewhere right around there. I think. Touching my best skin, baby. I'm burning. Ah, uh, almost. Two. Okay, cool. So yeah, these should be pretty much the exact same level at this point. All right, let's listen to this one again. I think my keyboard's just dead. Touching my best skin, baby. I'm burning. I can't feel the glow. Yeah, so it's kind of like right in between there. But anyway, let's go ahead and flip this one. Oh, it is out of phase. Now let's listen to both of them. So this is the same signal flipped out of the phase. Let's hear what's left over. Let's hear the difference between an API plugin and the API line in. Quite a lot. 
temperature rise i can't help fight it baby i'm losing control so i feel i don't think i actually have that gain just cr quite right Touching my best skin, baby, I'm burning, I can feel the glow. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. It's pretty close. You can hear if I put the phase back in, it jumps quite a bit in volume. Touching my best skin, baby, I'm burning, I can feel the glow. So when I looked at this, um, and this is kind of the boring part of this live stream, I probably won't spend this much time doing this on, you know, for you guys. But um, when I was comparing just like the uh, frequency analysis, we can get some cool stuff going here too. Let's recall the default. Now let's add one on this one. Gosh, it's been so long since I've been in Logic, I'm like feeling like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> also, I got a new mouse and I hate it. It's terrible. Not that anybody cares. Anyways. All right, cool. So let's, let's play these. Touch my best campy. All right, so here is on the bottom is the real API and against a uh, API plugin. Where I start to really kind of see a difference, and again, this is kind of like we're splitting hairs here because the signal is a little different in terms of volume um, and obviously character, but you can kind of see in this low mid range that it kind of it seems like it's a bit lower on the uh, on the plug-in one, but anyway, this is you know you're starting to split hairs here because if you start doing that AB thing, let's start doing it like everybody else, all the normies. Let's do it the normal way. Whoops. Touching my best skin, baby, I'm burning. I Touching my best skin, baby, I'm burning, I can feel the glow. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it, baby, I'm losing control. It's, it's so hard. Touching my best skin, baby, I'm burning, I can feel the glow. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. Um, okay, cool. So this has been an awesome comparison, but I think I'm done with it. I'm going to actually start getting some work done. Um, I'll let you guys make your own decisions on it. I think if you're just kind of doing an A-B listening test, it's pretty damn amazing how realistically the API plugin sounds. Uh, when tracked in unison mode, there are some subtle differences, um, you know, and, and visually this this is not the best way to do it. I mean, obviously, this isn't a scientific test um, by any means. And doing the null test, you can hear how it does cancel itself out. So this is about as close to science as we can get. And looking at the frequency analysis on, like, the channel EQ, it's about as close as we can get, really. I mean, the Anyway, um, you can see a little bit of differences. Seems like the low mid area uh, on the real API kind of has some sort of more pronounced effect to it. Um, but everything else is there. I mean, it, it's so dang close. If you're just A, B in them, it's like, unless you have the volume cranked, you're going to start to really split hairs to really hear which is completely different. So. Amazing job, Universal Audio, for doing that. And also, to, this is important to note, this is the legacy plugin, um, because we did this before the uh, new plugin came out. So um, then that we'd have to try it out on the new one and see what that one does. But anyway, all right, so let's get to it. Um, 
what we are going to do, and I'll probably stick with this. Um, I'll probably just stick with the API plugin version for this mix, um, and I have my reasons for that. But um, what we need to do is just go through and yeah, what we need to do is go through and um, melodyne this. So what I'm going to do is push all these down. We're going to take this pitch correction, just keep it off for now, and now we're going to add melodyne. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comments. Salamone. Um, okay, cool. So I'm going to transfer this bad boy. Now, what I'm going to do also is turn off the output. So I just play through this entire song. So this is probably a great time to get your questions in because I don't like to go line by line. I like to just transfer the, and actually, hell, I skipped a step. I need to comp this bad boy. So let's put this back. All right, so when I comp my vocals, I, I do go line by line. I should have mentioned that. That's probably why I, I glossed over that. So what we're going to do here is just listen to these takes. I'll probably only swap between this one and this take just because it's um, the whole thing. And I don't like to listen to it in context of the mix. I like to listen to it completely on its own to hear every little detail. You strike a match to the heart in the middle of the night. Wake me up in the dark with your mouth on mine. Your hands are searching for me beneath the sheets. You strike a match to the heart in the middle of the night. Wake me up in the dark with your mouth on mine. Your hands are searching for me beneath the sheets. It's tough to hear what I like more. I think I like the beginning on this on this other take more. You strike a match to the heart in the middle of the night. Wake me up in the dark. You strike a match to the heart in the middle of the night. Wake me up in the dark with your mouth on mine. Yeah. You strike a match to the heart in the middle of the night. Wake me up in the dark with your Yeah, I think I like that. For sure. Yeah, this new mouse is terrible. I hate it. You strike a match to the DDJ Blake. Uh Yeah. Uh yeah, I use I use Logic sometimes, but I'm switching to Luna. I'm done with Logic. There's so many glitches like a lot of people don't know this. If you export your file, it has this weird floating point glitch where if you bounce it down to wave, it'll bounce it out like one BPM faster. It's horrible. You strike a match to the heart in the middle of the night. Wake me up in the dark with your mouth on mine. Your hands are searching for me beneath the sheets. Let's listen to this one. Up in the dark with your mouth. Oh man, your hands are searching for me beneath the sheets. Oh, I think I like that way better, for sure. Oh man, FL Studio. I grew up on FL Studio. That's the bomb. I have the uh, producer's edition, and I always forget that I have the producer's edition. I haven't used it in, seems like years, but it's an awesome program. I'm saying I don't want to sleep. I'm saying I don't want to sleep. I think I might try to do some wizard magic here. Saying I don't want to sleep. I like how the word is actually finished there instead of it just trailing off. Goodness gracious, this mouse. 
You pull me close enough to feel your breath. Trace your fingers down the back of my neck. Um, so I w Oh, wait, hold on. Can you suggest a soft compression... Soft compressor for vocals? Well, soft compression is just clipping, really. Or, oh, sorry, no, 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 sorry. It's not soft clipper, soft compression. Been a long day, I've been up since like 7.30 filming. Um, soft compression, I mean, if you're, if you're looking at something gentle, if that's what you're kind of referring to, um, anything opto is gonna be really good, like an optical compressor. So your LA-2A series stuff, um, tube tech stuff's cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that's gonna be where you wanna be for, for the gentle stuff. And then actually also, um, let me show you this one, the AE-1176 is cool. Um, if you're using it right because gentle compression really has more to do with the knee I'd say or the ratio so if you go AE It has a slow mode and hopefully you can see this on the screen But it has a slow mode and then the ratio is a two to one compress compression so you can it's, it's pretty much as gentle as it gets um, you know, and then as far as like the way that it, how it grabs, that's going to be, uh, you know, doing its thing. So, um, yeah, I think 1176 into LA-2A is a great chain. CL-1B is awesome. Um, you know, that whole, that whole chain with the 1176 into the LA-2A is like, it's so iconic and standard that you almost can't go wrong with it. And it's kind of a concept. I mean, like one's doing general overall level compression and then the other one's shaping your transients in the front part of your word. It's pretty cool. You pull me close enough to feel your breath. I like the end of that. You pull me close enough to feel your breath. I think, well... Hold on here. Uh, I definitely like the beginning of that phrase better on that one. Let's see how this sounds. You pull me close enough to feel your breath. You pull me close enough to feel your breath. Oh yeah, way better. Um, it's funny, this tracking session that we did went real quick. I'm kind of happy about that. I didn't, I've done this track now like Recorded vocals on this so many times. It's kind of over it. Um, DDJ Blake, uh, let me throw on this stuff. Let's listen to this in context for you. Just for you, buddy. Uh, let's add that pitch correction back in. This is like rough pitch correction just to kind of give it that vibe, just so you can kind of hear it. And let me zoom out. All right, this will be the context up to here. It's kind of like pop, I guess. You strike a match to the heart in the middle of the night. Wake me up in the dark with your mouth on mine. Your hands are searching for me beneath the sheets, saying I don't want to sleep. You pull me close enough to feel your breath. Trace your fingers down the back. My neck, my body is aching for you to tell me when and take me where I've never been. Touching my best can be, but I'm burning. I can feel the glow. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. Uh, yeah, DJ, DDJ Blake, sorry, <laughs> that's hard to say, DDJ Blake, yeah, no, this is just, um, 
this is kind of like just placeholder stuff because I'm going through and comping after tracking and it's just kind of to give you an idea of where it's going. Um, there's going to actually be a lot of automation that happens there, automating of sends and stuff like that. Um, after listening to that, I think the ending of this phrase I like better in the original take. So let me just listen to that real quick. Mouth on mine, your hands are searching for me beneath the sheets. Yeah, I'll play around with that real quick. We'll also turn off all this stuff. Um, also, there's a lot of drive happening and character from this thing. Blake, I'll call you Blake from now on. Um, and artist Artix Music. Uh, how can you access slow mode? Oh, uh, right, you actually just hit slow, you click on the word slow. It's the it's the weirdest thing. It's like um, it's just one of those things. It's like the hidden features, like when you click on the UA menus or the UA logos. There's always like hidden features or whatever they call it. And Blake, if I yeah, I mean if you want to if you want to buy me a coffee, I, I don't know if there's a I don't know if there's that thing on my website, but just go to the thestevekinney.com and you find ways to support the channel there. That that's awesome. Um, I don't have super chats yet, which is kind of a bummer, but that would have been cool. I, I would love a super chat. <laughs> I always see it on other people's things. I'm like, man, I want to get one. That'd be cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that slow mo. There's so many like hidden things in these menus with uh, the UA stuff. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna take all this off. Okay. Way better. You pull me close enough to feel your breath. Trace your fingers down the back of my neck. My Don't like that. Don't like the way that one ran into that. I'll turn this off too. I know a lot of, if you like look up Melodyne how-to videos from Celimony themselves, they'll say like tune everything first and then comp using that Aura feature. That's a nah for me. That's going to be a big nah. Um, it's going to be a no for me, dog. I like to comp before. Trace your fingers down the back of my neck. My body is aching for you to tell me when. Trace your fingers down the back of my neck. My body is aching for you to tell me when. So much more vibe in that one. And it was a uh, better pitch too. That's cool. And take me where I've never been. And take me where I've never been. I actually think I like that one. Let's stick with that one for now. Jesus, mouse is horrible. All right, this is where it gets fun. Got a couple to choose from. Touching my best skin, baby, I'm burning. I can feel the glow. Oh, yeah, those, uh, I've been looking at those. Those are the, um, no, I haven't, I haven't used those. But I've been uh, looking at them because I, I just broke my my f headphones that I'm used to uh, using, and I'm using these uh, just tra just crappy tracking headphones, HD nines. Um, they're not very good references, but I mean they're they're decent for tracking. Um, yeah, I'd I'd love to pick those up. I'm looking at getting the uh, the seven seventies for tracking, and then picking up those for mix master stuff, and then uh, using Sonar Works too. Touching my best skin, baby. Touching my best skin, baby. I'm burning. I can feel the glow. Pretty good. Touching my best skin, baby. I'm burning. I can feel the glow. I like uh, the vibe in the part in part of this one. 
Touching my best can be, but I'm burning. I can feel the glow. All right, here's what we're going to try. Touching my best can be, but I'm burning. I can feel the glow. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'll double check this one later on, the, the word glow. That might not work in reference of the mix, but anyway, we'll move on. Oh my god, this mouse is terrible. That's going to be the rest of the live stream. You're just going to hear me complain about the mouse. <laughs> All right. Um, also, in the release, there's a hidden feature that I don't know. Um... Oh, are you a hidden feature in um, in the new API stuff? I don't know. Yeah, no. All of their hidden stuff is is if you if you open up the UAD, this is the nerdiest thing. But if you open up the UAD manual, um, they always show you where to find those hidden features, and there, it's usually like clicking or option clicking on a uh, like a logo or something like that but some of them are just clicking on the word like in the 1176 you click off or you click slow what's up momo curly how y'all doing over there i know you all out you're you're all out in uh japan i think right that's pretty cool i'd love to go to japan i've seen uh james may in japan it's like one of the coolest tv shows Uh, and no, yeah, no, I don't have no, uh, I don't have a Discord. Uh, truthfully, I'm like, I, I don't like social media. I just find it takes up too much of my time. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. That one's kind of nice. Oh, yeah. Um, UK. That's cool. There's tons of cool music stuff out that way. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. Tone-wise good, or I'm sorry, note notation-wise good on this one. Not so good with the, uh, like the sound. I just don't think it has that vibe. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. Doesn't it just doesn't sound like she's belting that ending bit? But we'll give that a go. Um, hey, S Samir, how how y'all doing over there in Tokyo? Yeah, that's cool. Also, no, I'll probably have to pass on the Discord thing, man. It'd be uh, just way too much for me. <laughs> too much for me to to manage, man. I've already, I'm already going to be doing like a 14 hour day by the time I'm done with this. I don't got time for that, but I appreciate it though. I am on fire, fire. Uh, I, ideal DB level for vocal input from console into DAW. Oh, you mean in UAD console? Um, well, uh, let me see if I just pull this up and show you show you real quick so let's see hopefully it's big enough on your screen you can kind of see like you, if you watch that vocal like a pro video on my channel it goes through all of that and i basically say have your like peaks or the loudest momentary loudness to hit at somewhere around negative nine or negative six somewhere in there um, now if you move this fader up and down that doesn't matter that's just to your headphones so feel free to move it wherever the heck you want it uh, but then your average level, you kind of want this hovering somewhere around negative 18 to negative 12. Quiet parts closer to negative 18, loud parts closer to negative 12. Just ballpark it. It's not, it's not exact science here. It's just kind of get it close, you know. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, that's cool. I'm on a 65-inch TV. All right. On the big time now. I feel like I'm on, in Hollywood. <laughs> I am on fire, fire. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, okay. So we only have a few takes here on this one. Uh, 
Uh, Blake, are you talking just your overall level, negative six to negative nine? Or, or just your peaks? I am on fire, fire. I am on fire, fire. Oh, it sounds alright. I am on fire, fire. I like that one better. It's got, it's got more energy behind it. Burning up with desire. Burning up with desire. That one's kind of got a cool thing at the end of the word, but I think this is the way I'm going to go. Yeah, Blake, I agree. I think you're spot on with that. Let's see what we got here. Got smoke in my eyes Cause you make it so hot You said enough Sirens ah. Kind of like the ending of that one Whoops Yeah, it is always weird genre swapping for a day or so Listen to something totally different Got smoke in my eyes Cause you make it so hot You're setting off sirens I think that, that I don't think I'm gonna get better than that That sounds pretty spot on uh, Samir, uh, if you watch Again, if you watch that video The how to record vocals like a pro on my channel You actually see this exact tracking session In progress throughout the whole video I go step by step procedurally On how I uh, arrange setting up a a vocal. Also, um, haven't had a chance to email you back. I saw your email, um, and I'll, I'll shoot you one after I get done with this. But anyways, yeah, check out that video because it it's got a ton of information and it walks through like all of this. So, um, anyways, just a quick recap on it though. It's a API Unison API uh, preamp plugin, and it's pretty straightforward. I just kind of set a level. Um, got a bit of saturation on it, so it was kind of starting to distort on the preamp side, but just under where it's actually really distorting. And I kind of show you how I get there. Um, let me listen to this section again. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. I okay. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. That's tough. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. That one sounds a lot better. Also, Momo Curly, yeah, this was a unison. This, this particular one was a unison, um, and you can see it in that other video. Right below this track, we actually have, this one is the real API um, that we split the signal using like a really clever patch bay at Blackbird. Um, and it sounds almost identical. Let's see, any other questions I might have missed here? I don't think so. If I missed your question, just, um, yeah. And right now, also on this particular track, there's there's nothing going on in the vocal chain. I'm, I'm just comping, so I've got to try. I don't want my frequencies or my tone to be impacted by, you know, anything else, so I'm kind of just leaving it totally dry. That's why it's pretty quiet, too, comparatively to when I put the processing on. Oh, I am on fire, fire. Burning up with desire I got smoke in my eyes Cause you make it so hot You got smoke in my eyes Cause you make it so hot You setting off sirens Alright
let's see. Oh, yeah. When, uh, Blake, cl clarify what you mean. Do you mean you want to want to give it a stab at uh, uh, tuning this up? Right here. Oh, yeah. It, it, thanks, Momo. Momo Curly. Um, you guys are you guys are legends for joining in. That's cool. Thanks for doing that. And uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. I do these every now and then um, when I get the chance to. Let's try this one. Watch the flames dance higher the closer we get. So uh, Blake, I actually can't I can't share this. I actually have like special privilege for this particular project and for this particular client to be able to do these live streams with it but I don't have the rights to to share this um, the only thing that I have is like I won't get a copyright strike if I'm using it as examples on my channels and stuff like that but I don't have the rights to to send it out sorry man watch the flames dance higher the closer we get that one sounds nice Watch the flames dance higher the closer we get. I think I like the beginning phrase and this one's kind of has more soul to it. Watch the flames dance higher the closer we get. Uh, let's try. Watch the flames dance higher the closer we get. Uh, here we go. Um, Blake, it's actually Katrina Burgoyne, which she's my, she's my girlfriend, but it's her, her, uh, publisher is the one that decides that kind of stuff. Watch the I don't know. Dance. I don't know who I'd have to get her to get me in contact with them. I don't handle any of that. I'm just the, I'm the nerd with all the buttons. <laughs> Watch the flames dance higher, the closer we get. There we go. Oh, I'm still not totally sold on that last part of the word. Watch the Watch the flames dance higher the closer we get. Watch the flames dance higher the closer we get. I like that one better. Um Yeah, you know what? I think they do have some sales on the satellites. Um uh, I, but you know what, there was a, there was, um, I think most of the time if they do the sales on the satellite stuff, it's usually like, like you'll get a free satellite if you buy an Apollo or something like that. Uh, if I recall, those are usually the kind that they do. Um, but then they also have like, you buy a satellite and you get like a ton of plugins too. Those are kind of a quasi sale. I don't know if you'll ever find one that's totally discounted, but um, you might. I mean, Sweetwater does stuff like that, I think. Cast the shadows on we'll love our naked silhouette. All right, so that's a wrong word, I think. Cast the shadow on the wall of our naked silhouette. Cast the shadow on the wall of our naked silhouette. Man, not a strong. Cast the shadow on the wall of our naked silhouette. That one might be the best one. Let me try the ending on that one. Cast a shadow on the wall of our naked silhouette. I'll just leave it on that for now. I'm not sold. Um, no word. I don't, I, I don't get info like that, but I'd imagine they'll probably, since getting into the UAD universe, I've noticed that usually after launches, it takes about a month or so, but then they'll run some other sale. Um, they're always doing something like that. So, you know, I would just get, just give it a few weeks and they'll have something going on. You're so intoxicated, I can barely breathe. All right, that one sounds cool. You're so intoxicated, I can barely breathe. Let's try this one. You're so intoxicated, I can barely breathe. Ooh, I kind of like the middle of that one, the beginning of this one. You're so intoxicated, I can barely breathe. 
You're so intoxicated I could barely breathe. Hmm. Okay, decisions, decisions. Let's try this. You're so intoxicated I could barely Oh no, that didn't work at all. What did I do wrong? You're so intoxicated I could barely breathe. I need to try this again. You're so intoxicated I could barely breathe. You're so intoxicated, I could barely breathe. Oh, I think I know what I'm doing wrong. Okay. I didn't go back far enough. You're so intoxicated, I could barely <sighs> Okay, what did I do? You're so intoxicated, I could barely breathe. Nah. I'm hearing something in my head, I'm just not getting there. My eyes are failing me. You're so intoxicated, I could barely breathe. You're so intoxicated, I could barely breathe. And You're so intoxicated, I could barely breathe. And You're so intoxicated, I could barely breathe. That sounds pretty good. And that's what you do to me. And that's what you do to me. And that's what you do to me. That one kind of has some power behind it. That's kind of cool. Let's see if we add this one and this one together. And that's what you do to me. Meh. I think I just like this on its own. Let me listen to this verse in context. We'll kind of put all the pieces of the puzzle back together. Gosh, this uh, mouse really is terrible. You guys don't know how much I'm suffering here. Watch the flames dance higher the closer we get. Now I kind of don't like the power in that last line. It was sounding pretty vibey. All right. I'm so used to the Luna shortcuts now. I'm like missing them. Anybody else using Luna yet? And that's what you do to me. And that's what you do to me. And that's what you do to me. That, that probably sounds pretty good. Let's do just that line in context. Oh, uh, really? Okay, here we go. Uh. And that's what you do to me. Yeah, that's cool. Sounds real cool. You know, it's funny too, I just had a thought like um, with these, with this vocal, if you listen to it, you know, with all the processing, there's tons of distortion on it. And go and listen to your favorite track with good headphones on and then try to find, oh, like, oh, okay, yeah, Thriller. Go find the original tracks of Thriller and listen to Michael Jackson's voice and how much the console distortion you know, from the SSL that's really on his voice. It just sounds incredible. It's so cool. And then when you listen to him, you know, a lot of people think that he goes into falsetto, but he'll just be screaming his parts in the verse. And it just sounds so sick. Um, it's a pro tip. Always yell your parts. It sounds way cooler. Touch my bare skin, baby, I'm burning, I can't feel the glow. Nope. Touch my bare skin, baby, I'm burning, I can't feel the glow. 
touching my bare skin, baby, I'm burning, I can feel the glow. Touching my bare skin, baby, I'm burning, I can feel the glow. Touching my bare skin, baby, I'm burning, I can feel the glow. Yeah, I just like the vibe on that one better. I, they all sound pretty similar, so I'm not going to nitpick any further than that. Now this one, I think I could probably do a better ending on. I already kind of know that, so. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. So this is cool. This is uh, something to show you guys here. So we use the U47 style mic, the WA47 warm audio. And um, the shape of her voice and the resonance of her voice caused, and I talk about this a lot when I talk about vocals, it's like listening for resonances. But right here on my screen, you can see this really sharp waveform. And that's not distortion of the unison mic pre or the level that I had. It's actually just distortion of the microphone. And I'll let you guys listen to the two. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. It's right on baby, I am. Um, now let's listen to something that's not distorted all the way. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. Totally different. It's cool that you see it on the waveform too. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. I like the last bit on there, but just overall, I think the vibe in the other one's way better. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. No. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. See if we can do some magic there. He probably won't be able to. Now we're sounding auto-tuned, <laughs> just with comping. There's no way I'll be able to fix that. Maybe somewhere in here. That's okay. I'll just have to fix that one manually. I like the fire and that that's cool. She does that differently in the other ones. I am on fire, fire. Let's see what this sounds like. I am on fire, fire. It's kind of cool. I think the compressor will kind of push those closer together in terms of both volume and noise and all that kind of stuff. But you can hear a really big difference in her tone of her voice, so I, I don't think I could mix those two together. Whenever you're comping, you definitely want to pay attention to stuff like that, as I'm sure all of you probably do. But sometimes people, you know, people don't don't know to do that. I am on fire, fire. I am on fire, fire. I'm on fire, fire. And I like the way she ends that word. It's nice, but I don't think I can. I think I just have to choose one. I am on fire, fire. Burning up with desire. Burning up with desire. All right, so the beginning of desire is terrible sounding. Burning 
Waking up with desire Burning up with desire Burning up with desire Burning up with desire Burning up with desire Bur That's kind of okay. It's not too bad. I could probably just take the beginning of this. Maybe if the timing's right. And then choose this one. Burning up with desire Meh. I'm pushing my luck if I do it like that. Burning up with desire See, I could probably fix the timing discrepancy inside of Melodyne with that take, but I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it. Burning up with desire I just don't know which one's better sounding. Up with desire. I think I kind of like that. That'll that'll let it breathe a little bit more when you have um, like processing and effects in there. I got smoke in my eyes because you're... Got smoke in my eyes Cause you make it so hot You said enough so I got smoke in my eyes Cause you make it so hot You said enough so Interesting, right at the very end of this phrase Like right in here can hear a headphone cable Well, maybe you can't hear it on YouTube side But you can hear a headphone cable in there Got smoke in my eyes Cause you make it so hot You said enough so Yeah, right in this word I got smoke in my eyes Cause you make it so hot You said enough so Yeah, now we need that to sound much bigger I got smoke in my eyes Cause you make it so hot You said enough so that doesn't sound so bad. Let me listen to the original. I got smoke in my eyes cause you make it so hot. You said enough. So Way better. Let's listen to this one. Sirens. Sirens. More power. Sirens. Sirens. Yeah, no, nothing can compete with that. That's way better sounding. And not necessarily better sounding without like effects and stuff like that, but when you start to add your processing in, just those resonances kind of get bigger sounding and just sound cool. All right. Sirens, sirens, setting off sirens. Sounds too sounds too pretty there, so I think I'll have to go with that other take. That'll be in the background too. That'll be kind of faded out. Let's see what's going on here. Take two. You make it so hot, you make it so hot. I like how that is in the demos that we have. You make it so hot. Is that? You make it so hot, you make it so hot. Touch. Yeah, I, th I think I kind of like it, like, just with this one line, and then it goes into the rest of it. Okay. So during the tracking session, if I zoom out, um, whoops, I'll kind of just break it down, like, how we did it. So kind of got an initial level, made sure that it sounded, 
you know, decent where I wanted it to be. Then we went through and did a whole pass. Wanted to really make sure that we got the feel right for this song. Because um, we've tracked this now like three different times. The first time had engineering problems, my fault. Second time, um, the second time that we tracked it, the, the phone was buzzing and beeping and weird, like, you know, the tick if you have a microphone uh, right next to a cell phone, it's get crazy weird frequency stuff going on. Um, and so then after we did this whole pass, I kind of composed myself mentally. I'm like, all right, I'm going to start making notes. And then I wanted her to kind of sing just part by part. So she did a bunch of good parts. And then if she started to fall off the wagon, I was like, OK, I'll stop this take. Then we did this section, made sure that that was pretty solid, did a few passes, and it sounded good here. So I was like, all right, let's move on. Then we went here, did the same thing. And somewhere around here, I was like, look, we need to get you to start putting more power behind it. So then that's this take, and then these takes, and the outro. And then I think we had some ad lib stuff going on, but it, we just kind of kept it simple there. Uh, but Kyle, yeah, uh, thanks for joining and, and checking this stream out. Um, yeah, absolutely. This is, I, I said at the beginning of the stream that I was like, look, I'm, I have to actually get work done. And I was like, I might as well just go live for this one. Because most of the time, if I go live, it's, it's kind of for fun just to answer some stuff. But I'm so swamped that I have to actually do this kind of stuff. I probably got another, I'll, I'll just finish this comp up and then I'll go through and start melodining. Uh, hopefully my camera's not going to die, it, not going to die on me there, but I think I've got a couple extra batteries. If it does, I'll just pop it on. Um, the headphones on these, these are just, um, I actually broke the headphones that I like to use, um, which the head, <laughs> a lot of people would probably crack up if I told them what I used, but I use these Soundcore gaming headsets, um, and the reason I liked them so much was because they actually reproduced all the way down to 20 hertz. Um, and while they weren't the most accurate headphones, having that full spectrum, actually really being able to hear that, I just had them laying around, and I got used to the way they sounded. So I was like, all right, cool. I'll just keep working with them. And then um, they, they, they broke on me, so I got to get some new ones. But these are just um, H, what are they? HD9s, PreSonus HD9s. They're like a tracking headset. They're kind of cheap. And I don't need to hear, I just need to hear what's going on. I don't need to mix or anything right now, so. Touching my bare skin, baby, I'm burning. I can feel the glow. Touching my bare skin, baby, I'm burning. I can feel the glow. Uh, a little too pronounced there. Such a my best skin, baby. I'm burning. I can feel the glow. No, nowhere near as good as that other take. There we go. Temperature rise. I can help fight it. Tem Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. Yeah, that's pretty good. I could definitely make that into something cool. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. So I think if I had to be... Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. I'm going to do this. I should probably zoom in further. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. 
Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. I think somewhere in there. Yeah, I'm being really nitpicky on this because it's a big moment in the song. Temperature rise, I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. Baby, I'm losing control. Baby. All right, I'm going to take a second here. Baby, I'm losing control. <clears throat> uh. Baby, I'm losing control. Yeah, okay, I just have to do it right at that, at that point. Baby, I'm losing control. Baby. Okay. All right, now for this little bridgey, breakdown y part. Let's see. I am on fire, fire. I am on fire, fire. I am on fire, fire. Nope. I am on fire, fire. I am on fire, fire. Kind of like that. It's kind of cool. I am on fire, fire. Interesting. If you have headphones on and uh, you're paying attention to this, hopefully it comes through like really clear on your end. But there's some weird um, phasiness in the sibilance area, um, in the phonetics area there of the way she's saying fire. You can hear her moving around, and, and so I can't really use that take. It sounds weird. Plus, I think I like this take better. Anyway. Burning up with desire. I think that's kind of cool. Burning up with desire. Like the breathiness there. I don't really like the beginning. Burning up with desire. I Definitely like the ending on that one. This. Drenched in oh, wrong word. Burning up with this. Burning up with. Burning up with desire. Burning up with this. I'll have to clean that part of it up in uh, Melodyne. And then these breathy bits too, I'll have to get them out. I usually do that kind of stuff in Melodyne. I got smoke in my eyes cause you make it so hot. <clears throat> um, got... Question for everybody watching right now. How many people are new to the Apollo platform in the audience right now. Just, just curious. I got smoke in my eyes cause you make it so hot, you make it so hot. Ending on that's okay. I got smoke in my eyes cause you make it so hot, you make it so hot. I think I like that. That's cool. I got smoke in my eyes cause you make it so hot, you make it so hot. I like the ending on that. That's it's actually better than the ending on the other one. I think it's got more soul. Let's see if we do something like this. Got smoke in my eyes Cause you make it so hot You make it so hot Yeah, that's cool Kyle, that's cool, man Are you, um Are you Like, super invested in it? Like, do you have a lot of different plugins? Um 
are you uh, using Luna? Like, where are you at? And what's your goals, man? Like, tell me your goals. Are you looking to become a producer full time? You're looking to just learn how to track your own stuff? Talk to me, brother. I feel so lonely in here. It's just me. It's just me and Eli just hanging out. Everybody watching, not talking. All right. I'm on fire, fire. That's cool. That's vibey. I'm on fire, fire. I'm on fire, fire. That's cool. It's just a. This one's a little bit more. Um, it's got a different feel to it than the rest of them. I'm on fire, fire. Let me stick with this one for now and see what happens later. I'm on fire, fire, drenched in sweat and desire. Fire, drenched in sweat and desire. The ending on it, I'll have to tune that word for sure. Fire, drenched in sweat and desire. Kind of a similar feel on that. I'll just stick with this one and I'll just have to deal with, I think the compression will probably pull that, pull that one closer. I got smoke in my eyes cause you make it so hot. You said enough. So What's up Axe? Am I saying that right? Like Axe or AXX? Happy to have you here. Thanks for joining. Got smoke in my eyes Cause you make it so hot You said enough Say it No, that's a bad note No <laughs> I got smoke in my eyes Cause you make it so hot You said enough Say I got smoke in my eyes cause you make it so hot You said enough sirens That's a pretty good uh, note there. Let's see if this one sounds more belted though. So hot you said enough sirens Sirens uh, Thanks uh, Leo. Thanks. Take as many notes as you want, replay the video, do what you gotta do. Um, if you're new to the Apollo stuff, uh, check out the console classics and heritage classics packs. It's kind of like um, my, my presets that I developed to kind of show how to get the most from the Apollo, learn traditional signal flows in studios and stuff like that. So if anybody's new that's watching, check that out. It's a great way to support the channel, great way to learn. Um, but Kyle, this is cool. Love to get into full-time producing it, IT. Sorry, I read that wrong. <laughs> it. <laughs> um, IT, man, that's a great, great field to be in. That's cool. Producing is um, a lot of work. It's a lot of work, long hours. Sirens, sitting off sirens. Yeah. Like that one. That's cool. Producing is, um, you know, it's interesting to me thinking about producing. It's like, it's almost like you become an artist for the artist. Like, uh, the artist will bring a song to you and you kind of have to interpret it and build it into a full-fledged thing you know and a lot of times a lot of people just bring you like an acoustic demo and they'll just go okay uh help me turn this into this you know i want to make it sound like um and sometimes it's a it's a discrepancy there like i I'm, i know sirens i think is actually one of them this song and i i think this song has turned out great i'll have to once i wrap it up i'll Put all the processing back on listen do a listen through but um i think that sometimes there's a discrepancy you know like one of the most recent songs that's currently in production with cat and i is something that she 
you know, she wanted it to have like kind of more of that modern pop country feel with like snap tracks and stuff like that. And um, I ended up making it have like more like soulful vintage 70s kind of sound. And I just, yeah, like that really glossy pop stuff I don't know how to do. So like if you listen to my tracks and stuff, they're like heavily influenced from Mutt Lang and all the, the awesome stuff from the 80s. But I think it works well. Anyways. Sirens, sitting off sirens. Mm, you make it so hot, you make it so hot. Okay, so we got some work to do here. I like... I like this. Sirens, sirens. Sirens, sitting off sirens, yeah. Sirens, sitting off sirens, yeah. Mm. So in this section, I'll be able to fix this timing issue on this word in Melodyne and um, it's also going to be covered up a lot by like delay because this is a really big part of the song too so let's see what we got um, let's see You make it so hot, you make it so hot. Oh no, we need a, we need this one. You make it so hot, you make it so hot. Yeah, way better. You make it so... Um, yeah, Kyle, you should check out Luna. Uh, it's honestly amazing. And also, if you're looking to like get into producing and stuff full time, Obviously, that is a goal towards the future, and that's awesome. But um, just some industry insight, I think that Luna is going to be the future. I think that what they're doing, they've kind of... Obviously, there's going to be you know, competition and things like that along the way. And there's going to be you know, competitors, like Studio One's doing some cool stuff. Um, and Pro Tools has basically ripped off the Apollos with Pro Tools Carbon. Um, but it, you know, that's actually really cool. What they're doing is that they're creating their own DSP platform, which is kind of smart. You know, so they're opening up other developers to write code that is DSP compatible with whatever their hardware is. Clever on their part, um, but I mean, you know, still. Anyways. Um, I think a lot of industry pros are going to, I think they really do prefer what Luna sounds like. And it's just going to be one of those things like when the workflow gets there, I know a lot of people are going to be really excited. I know I've already switched myself. All right, cool. Let's listen to this. Is. Is. Um, how many take, oh, this is a great question, Leo. How many takes do you usually ask from a lead vocalist when he, she is nailing a performance? Well, this is where experience kind of comes into play. Um, and also like the situation, this is a fantastic question, Leo. I really thank you for this question. Um, depends on the situation. If and I'll, I'll just do some quick situations, right? So like situation A, this is the only thing that you're doing that day. And you're early in the session. And all you got to do is just this particular vocal take, you know, where it's like just the lead vocal today for the next three, four hours. Um, and you're an hour in and it's just, it's all sounding killer. At that point, I would make sure that I have at least three to four, you know, here, I'll just back out and let you show what we did here. So I had one full pass, and then for each section of the song, I had about 
two to three options at a time. Uh, and especially towards the end here, as, as she's kind of, her voice is starting to get a little tired, there might be a couple more takes in that section, like three to four takes. Um, but I definitely have gotten really used to hearing Kat's voice, so I'm more comfortable with that. With a singer that I don't know a whole lot, I'd probably make a minimum of three to four takes. Um, but something that you can do is see how consistent your singer is, because consistency can be a good or a bad thing. If your, if your singer is really consistent and they're not nailing the take, then no performance is going to be good. But if their performance is really good and then each take is sounds almost the exact same, there's no point in doing 10 takes of each section. You know, so kind of use your best judgment there. But that's a great question. And then of course, if just everything is gold and it sounds absolutely phenomenal, you know, maybe just two or three takes, wrap it up. But then push your singer. Encourage your singer to take it to the next level and let them do ad-lib tracks and um, let them just turn the lights down, get into the mood and just sing like they're singing in the car for fun and just let them go at it and see what kind of clever stuff they come up with. Um, that's what I would say. Hopefully that answers the question. Oh yeah, now I do. This part is not very good. Uh, this next line isn't very good, so I'm gonna see what this one sounds like. Um, this is where all the ad libs came in. You make it so hot, you said enough, sirens. Okay, so that's how the song ends on that line, but I know that I was having trouble with this that day. Okay. You make it so hot, you set enough sirens. It's kind of too breathy there. So I think I want to do this and then that. You make it so hot, you set enough sirens. It's not enough breath there, okay. You make it so hot, you set enough sirens. All right, I'm not gonna keep playing that part. So hot, you set enough sirens. It's all right. So hot, you set enough sirens. Just not the vibe I want. I don't know why. So hot, you set enough sirens. Yeah. Good thing is I still have the abs like the actual original vocal that I could use that take if I really don't like these, but I think one of them's okay. Oh hot, you said enough sirens. Screw it, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this breathy one for now. Okay. So let's zoom out. Uh, let's see. Let's see what Kyle said here. I see he's got a chat. Hesitation with Luna is that it's new. Started with QBAs back in the day. Jumped over to Pro Tools. Hated that. Don't blame you. Had to take my inbox with me just to make Pro Tools run, so I switched to Logic. Ah. Well, I think, unfortunately, at this, at this current juncture, I think that you're, we are, as an industry, kind of taking a step back because the reality is that a lot of these companies are going to go proprietary again, which is weird. I thought we kind of worked our, our way out of that, but you know, Luna is obviously you need a UA Apollo interface to run it. But um, yeah, that's a good point. I'm, I'm just super in UA for their interfaces. I think they sound awesome. So, um, and I, I have a solo for when I travel, so I'm, it 
super portable. It don't bother me to bring it with me. Um, anyway, let's give this one a one through. Um, you're going to hear this one early in the production stage before it's released. And this is before I melodyne it, but this is just kind of got a little bit of sauce on here. There's no um, automation. It's just kind of in general fixed positions. And you're hearing a bounce of the general mix, the rough, the lead vocal comped with pitch correction. And it's just trashy pitch correction. But anyway, here, here we go. Let's listen to it. You strike a match to the heart in the middle of the night Wake me up in the dark with your mouth on mine Your hands are searching for me beneath the sheets Saying I don't want to sleep You pull me close enough to feel your breath Trace your fingers down the back of my neck My body is aching for you to tell me when Take me where I've never been Touching my best skin, baby I'm burning, I can't feel the glow Temperature rise, I can't help fight it Baby, I'm losing control I think that'll do it. I think we can tune that one up. So now we can go ahead and go into our Melodyne. I, uh, like I said, it's a that, that mix was a bounce of all of this stuff going through some outboard stuff and yeah, anyways, it's already a pretty loud, loud mix. It's not up to that like negative eight 
luffs or anything like that. It's kind of like sitting at, I think it was sitting at like negative 12, something like that. Let's see what loudness thing says. Yeah, negative 13. This is kind of, this is an interesting topic. So this is like actually already at Spotify levels. But when you get into the mastering stuff, that, that gets to be a really weird topic. That's why I haven't covered it on my channel yet. But people master much louder. You know, they'll have their luffs at like negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, well up there. And if you pull that track down to the negative 14 mark, it'll actually sound louder because of perceived loudness. But the loudness range, you know, you, you kind of want that to be in that five area. And I haven't been able to get my mixes that loud and still have that LU range. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm still working on becoming like fantastic mastering engineer, but I'm, I think my mix is all right. I, I dig it. Um, and it's, it, to answer the question, what do I think about U8A stuff for mastering uses? Well, I. I dig it a lot. Um, I use this one, the Oxford limiter. I use two instances of the Oxford limiter on the way out. Um, and I'll throw on the Chandler uh, for some sauce, for some EQ sauce, yeah, sometimes. But I always have this guy on here, the Ampex ATR. Love that thing. And that's one of the other things I love about Luna now. It's like Luna's changed the game because, like, You'll throw on one of the console summing, and um, you know, and I'm not in Luna right now because just so everybody kind of knows, I said it at the beginning of this, but I'm wrapping up my last few projects in Logic, hopefully ever, um, and this is one of them, and then I've got another one that I'm doing, but this is the this is the final ones. So you're looking at the last ones here. Logic served me well, but now in Luna, if I load up like the console summing. Um, like Neve summing or the API summing, and you drive those, it just it just feels and sounds like you're actually on a console. It sounds fantastic. Um, and you're kind of getting that layer of that saturation. And it's also because you're clipping, you're kind of soft clipping the tops of your transients and stuff. You can kind of start to push your loudness levels a little bit further. Um, and you get it into that territory. So uh, let's see. Hopefully the stream is doing OK. Hopefully that didn't cut out. Oh, I think we're good. I think we're back. Yeah, OK. Hopefully you guys caught that bit. But yeah, um, Luna's cool. It's like kind of pushes your loudness up, stuff like that. But um, so now you got the console stuff pushing your loudness a little bit more. Uh, and then you add in that layer of the tape saturation. Uh, now you're a little bit more. And then you start to throw on like your final compression and EQ, and now you're a little bit more. And then you throw on your Oxford limiter, or you throw on your favorite limiter, and now you're, you're hitting your targets pretty easy now, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, to a certain degree, you could probably get this effect with Studer tape and, and the tracks. Um, yeah, I think the benefit of the Luna stuff there is that now that's, uh, it's using the native processing on your computer. So if I were to put up a Studer insert on every one of these, you know, I'd run out of DSP versus being on Luna, I could run it up and it wouldn't take a single ounce of DSP because that's all on my actual computer, so that's pretty cool. Um, and obviously, I guess as far as sound, I, I don't know that they have, um, I don't know if they have any uh, specific limitations on sound differences. I think it's the same exact sound. So anyways, let's throw up this Melodyne, and I'll walk you through what I do there. I actually should have been tracking that while I was uh, playing it back. But anyways, I'm going to turn this monitor off for this because I don't want you guys to hear this. I'll just transfer it without you having to listen to the vocal all the way through again. 
And this is on, looks like it's got something in there, but I'm going to delete it. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning and hit transfer. All right, and then this is what I do. I just play through it. There we go. And I'll just let this uh, play through. Oh yeah, the Brainworks stuff. Um, I have the Brainworks, uh, what is it, the Brainworks Master Desk. And I, I, I do love it. I think it sounds fantastic. It's got some cool stuff in there like stereo separation and general EQ kind of stuff. It's really subtle EQ changes, but it sounds great. Um, I haven't tried the new limiter from Brainworks yet, but I I've, I've saw it. I thought it was pretty cool. I'll have to check it out for sure. Now, I'll probably run through... Um, I'll probably run through the uh, melodying of the first couple lines or so. Um, I don't know if I'll have it in me to get all the way through the song on the live stream. I've gotten used to mixing on the live streams now. The first couple live streams I was making all sorts of wrong decisions because I was super nervous about... It's very, it's very awkward. I'm like talking to a camera, but really I'm talking to all of you guys, so... Um, you know. It was distracting at first, but now I'm starting to get used to it. Uh, got the V3, get the mono section for low end, love it. Yeah, I'll have to check all of that out. Um, I'll definitely have to check it out. And your stuff had that really cool low end too, so I was listening to some of it. it sounded good. Um, yeah, if you guys are uh, if you guys are new to the channel, um, and uh, you know, I thank you guys for for joining and uh, subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, hitting the like buttons, leaving comments, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I never knew how much it really actually impacted, and now I get it. You know, so it's sometimes I kind of feel like a bit of a wanker just on every video. I'm like, hit the like button, but you know, you kind of have to do it. You know. <clears throat> What's up, Chris? My actual brother. What's up, brother? My brother from the same mother. <laughs> I am uh, tuning some vocals. I'm not sure if you have been watching at all. But we're here. We're live. We're doing it. Tracking in Melodyne. Just comped everything up. This is exciting. I'm, I'm so happy with how this vocal turned out. So happy with it. Um, the room made such a difference, like being able to track in, being able to track in, uh, in that Blackbird room is just fan. It was so good. I think that was the only way I was going to be able to really get this vocal to be where I wanted it was to just have a really good room. So, um, and and thanks, thanks, Chris. Uh, thanks for the drums on it. I think your drums made it. If it wasn't for your big drum sounds, it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be as mutt langy. I'm gonna need your vocals on another song, by the way. Um, we got big group vocals to do, so we'll have to get we'll have to get together in a few days. All right, there we go. We have detected our pitch. Now we are ready to tune. As you can see, she's actually pretty spot on for most of this stuff. I mean, it actually already looks like it's kind of tuned. At least what a tuned vocal kind of looks like. It's all in like weird sections and stuff. But here's what we're going to do. That same process, I pretty much just started over. Now this one I might listen to with some of the effects on. I might turn them down. Because the effects kind of affect the effects, affect 
how you uh, comp. Mutlang is everything I aspire to be as a uh, engineer and producer. And I know this might be controversial, but and I'll probably get a probably get some bad feedback from this one <laughs> just because of the meme of it. But I think one of his one of his best work, obviously not his very best work. I think his best work is um, Def Leppard uh, by far. But Def Leppard and uh, Shania Twain. But truthfully, Nickelback. Unbelievable. He changed the rock. He changed the rock genre again when he did Nickelback's album. Um, every band started trying to sound just like Nickelback. And they spent years trying to sound like the earlier Nick, Nickelback, and then Nickelback switched it on everybody. <laughs> That's funny. I think it's funny. Anyway. All right, so I got to be careful in this section not to make it sound too, too tuned, you know? So what I'll do is I'll just kind of do one of these numbers and see how it sounds. That's how I usually start off. Oh, let me put the uh, output back on it. You strike a match to the heart in the middle of the... Oop, bum note. In... In... You strike a match to the heart in the middle of the night. Wake me up in the dark. In... Now we're going to round some of this out, I think. Round that one off. Round those off. Run these off too. What I'm doing here, um, it's probably hard to see on the screen. Let me try to make it bigger. <laughs> Nate, if he was watching, I don't know if he's. I don't know if he's watching right now. I tried calling him earlier. He didn't pick up. Owen Morris kind of guy. Appreciate the perfection of my language. Owen Morris. I'm assuming is is he the. Um, See the guy that did the brick wall limiter? <laughs> All right. Gosh, I get the whole family watching. What up, fam? You strike a match to the heart in the middle of the night. Wake me up in the dark with your mouth on mine. Your head. I think I want this to be. My like really on pitch. The heart in the middle of the night, wake me. Let me unmute this verb too. Middle of the night, wake me up in the dark with your mouth on mine. Your hands are searching for me beneath the sheets. Yeah, I want this to be kind of uh, much closer to that. So what I'm going to do is tune them a little sharp. It'll sound more natural. Middle of the night, wake me up in the dark with your mouth on mine. Your hands are searching for me beneath the sheets. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, we're going to have to cut this one. So I can get that closer to pitch. Searching for me beneath the sheets. Sometimes these tools on these things are kind of tedious. Ah, uh, undo, undo. There we go. I split that. That's cool. Let's see if that sounds better. Hands are searching for me beneath the sheets. 
No. Sure doesn't sound better. So we're just going to restore, undo all pitch changes. You know, it's crazy. Sometimes I hear like crazy hard tuning on songs. And, no, and nobody else hears it. Like, how do you not hear that? Searching for me beneath the shades. You know what it is? I, I do want it to go up, like sounding like it's coming up from a note. Searching for me beneath the shades. And it just isn't doing that for me, so I'm going to reset this one more time because I'm going to approach it a little differently. Undo all changes. I'm going to cut this. Now we're getting better. Yep, this is how, uh, I know a couple people have reached out to me and asked me how I get my vocals, how I get my vocal sounds and like how I, you know, get them to sound like what they sound like in some of the songs I've made and this is how I do it. I spend this much time tuning. Hands are searching for me beneath the shades. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. And I think I could probably take it a little bit further. Yeah. Searching for me beneath the shades, saying I don't want to sleep. Okay, that works. And now I'm just gonna tune these. Uh, this first note kind of has this weird divot thing, so I'm gonna round it out. It's saying I don't want to sleep. Sleep, 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 and I don't want to sleep. There you go. That sounds better there. You have to like pay super attention to detail when you're tuning these vocals. The other thing is I want to go through with the amplitude tool. It's always funny for me to say amplitude because I want to say amplitude because of that guitar software. Me beneath the shades. Pull that down. Me beneath the shades, saying I don't want to sleep. So some of the noise, some of the breath noise you want to get rid of, some of it you just want to make it quieter. To the heart in the middle of the night, wake me up. This one, way quieter. To the heart in the middle of the night, wake me up. A little louder. Middle of the night, wake me up in the dark. Wake me up in the dark with your mouth. Yeah, because if you completely get rid of it, sometimes it sounds unnatural. It sounds weird. You strike a match to the heart in the middle of the night. Wake me up in the dark with your mouth on mine. Your hands are searching for me beneath the shades, saying I don't want to sleep. Saying I don't... Okay, yeah, that's cool. Um, I might round these out a bit. Saying I don't want to sleep. Yeah, that's cool. You pull me close enough to feel your breath. That already sounds pretty cool. Um, if you guys have questions on this tuning stuff, just let me know. Hopefully my camera's still... Oh yeah, my camera's still running. I wonder where it's at though. Anyways. 
You pull me close enough to feel you pull, pull. You pull me close enough to feel your breath. I want to be careful about tuning that because that sounds decent. Sounds vibey. You pull me close enough to feel your breath. Your pull me close enough to feel your breath. Trace your fingers down. Trace you. Trace your fingers down the back of my neck. My body is aching for. Yeah, that's pretty good. Middle of the night, wake me up in the dark with your mouth on mine. Your hands are searching for me beneath the sheets, saying I don't want to sleep. You pull me close enough to feel your breath. Trace your fingers down the back of my neck, my back. Oh, I think I messed up that line by tuning that. Let's restore. Let's listen to that again. Trace your fingers down the back of my neck, my body is aching for you to tell me when. All right, so I think these definitely. To be there. Trace your fingers down the back of my neck. My body is aching for you to tell me when. And then this note for sure. Me. And then this one. When. My body is aching for you to tell me when. Oh yeah, it's a little too quick of a change. So what we'll do is go back here and that's what this little nifty rounder tools for. He is aching for you to tell me when. Nice. And take me where I've never been. So here's a trick here. If we go to this pitch modulation tool, you can start to almost hard tune notes. So let's see if that sounds sounds weird. And take me where I've never been. It's almost the effect I want it to do. Um, how is Luna with MIDI compared to Logic? Is it easy to use? Um, I actually have. That's a great question. Some people are way more advanced with MIDI than I am. Um, I'm very much an instruments guy, but I use MIDI all the time for drums. Uh, so a lot of my stuff is like very quantized on the grid, and it's got a cool quantized feature. Um, yeah, it's got a cool quantized feature on it where it's non-destructive, so you can like audition the quantization like grid settings in real time. Bam, 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 bam. There we go, okay. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. There's, It's not perfect, I don't think. I think Ableton kind of takes the cake with the whole MIDI stuff. Um, they do have some nice features though, like you can sync hardware, uh, and I'm sure the other ones can too, but can sync hardware, they can sync um, other DAWs, you know, so that's a feature of it. The one thing I couldn't get it to do is I'm going to be making a video on this, but with electric guitars, I have the HX stop, it has MIDI in and out. I can get uh, Luna to see it, but I can't get Luna to sync the delay information when I'm tracking, and that's, that's something that is kind of difficult. What I find myself having to do is 
unarm and rearm my track all the time to get that uh, delay compensation so that it's like really on on cue um, with the hardware that's having like a synced delay with the BPM, which is very weird. But anyway, um, piano and orchestral stuff, dude, you have to hear, oh, cat's calling, hold on. You have to hear uh, the orchestral stuff that they have in, that, the library that comes with Luna. Um, give me one second. On live stream. Um, yeah, you have you have to hear the uh, orchestral stuff that comes with it. It's, uh, it sounds so amazing. I don't have one of the projects right now loaded on my computer. I have it on my old hard drive. I'd have to bust it out to hook it up, but next level sounds. And of course, it's from Spitfire. So if you're familiar with Spitfire, their stuff is just awesome. Tell me when. And take me where I've never been. Here we go. Touching my best skin, baby. All right, I already see where I want to chop that note. Pull it down. Okay, cool. So we've got these kind of in their right area. Generally speaking, let's go ahead and, oh, this guy's going to be a problem, I think. mouse is terrible. Yeah, I have to do like five clicks for every normal five clicks on every or I have to do like five clicks to every one click on a on the old Apple mouse. Touch my best skin, baby. I'm I don't like the way that sounds. Touch my best skin, baby. I'm burning. I I like these notes, I mean, that's nice. Touch my best skin, baby. I'm burning. I mm. See, it does definitely sound sharp to me. Touch my best skin, baby. I'm Yeah, this is where. Touch my best skin, baby. I'm burning. I can't feel the glow. Okay, so this, and I'm not going to touch this other one because it's got that nice scoop. But I will correct these. And also the pitch, if you look at the pitch drift where it kind of like the squiggly line, you want that to be in the center. You want that to be in the center of the note, like the note block. You can see on the left hand side is like D sharp, D, C, C sharp, you know, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, the pitch drift being in the middle kind of averages out the pitch note. And sometimes, see, it's like, Melodyne's saying this is negative 13 cents flat, but if I were to play it, it'd sound better. Touch my best skin, baby. I'm burning. I can't feel the glow. And actually, I need to pull it down even more. I can't feel the glow. Yeah, so now it says it's 28 cents, but it actually sounds better there. Um, I'm also going to do something I haven't done yet in this. I'm going to change the format for where it says baby. Um, baby. Touch my best skin, baby. I'm burning. I 
Yeah, see, Formant is the software's way of interpreting. Oh, I hope that this is. Oh, yeah, it still says it's live. I thought that almost almost dropped out on me. Um, I'm probably going to have to jump off here soon. Um, but Formant, real quick, is um, this is their way of changing like the way that the it's like voice position modeling. So it's like if you were to sing with your mouth really open, you know, like a traditional opera singer versus if you were to sing like a pop singer where you kind of sing more with like you the hard palate and the roof of your mouth, pretty cool. Um, let's see, I got some questions here. Um, now that I've migrated to Luna, what task do I still prefer to do in Logic and how does jumping back and forth impact your workflow? Um, well, you know, it's like riding a bike, you know, you'll get back into the program and now 10, 15 minutes in, you're kind of like, oh yeah. Um, but the initial bits are like the shortcuts. I think the shortcuts are way better in Luna. Um, I like the shortcuts in Luna better. And then of course, obviously like the interface looks so much better in Luna too. Just looking at the screen is kind of a nightmare on logic in my opinion. I'm sure that Luna will get there as they continue to add features and stuff like that. You know, you always try to cater to what people want, but then you keep adding functions and functions and functions, and then it just gets overwhelming inside of your GUI. Um, but uh, I don't really miss a whole lot about Logic. Uh, I know that the the comping function is pretty big for me and the control surface functionality is pretty big for me. I do definitely miss that. I got really proficient using this platform Nano inside of Logic when I would be doing my mix and masters. Unfortunately, none of my projects right now are at that stage where I'm in automation. So I'm kind of like, you know, hoping they'll, they'll kick that one over soon. Um, I know they, at the beginning of the year, or close to the beginning of the year, they previewed it on one of their live streams, so it's got to be coming sooner or later. But, um, yeah, anyways, it's been, a, it's been a fun live stream. I appreciate everybody in the comment section and sharing their thoughts, and it's been pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'll keep doing a few more here real quick. I'll get through this section. Touching my best skin, baby, I'm burning. I can't feel the glow. Temperature. That's a flat note. Ten. Temperature rise. I can't help fight it. Yeah, okay. Let's just do this and see what we get. Touching my best skin, baby. I'm burning. I can't feel the glow. Temperature rise. I can't help fight it. Baby, I'm losing control. <clears throat> okay, I'm starting to get a little bit of ear fatigue here. A little bit. Ten, ten, sure. Yeah, okay, that's the note that's messing with me. Sure, as I can. I think the form it needs to change on that. Temperature rise, I can't help fight. So much better. Sometimes that form it just really does change the way it sounds. Um, yeah, Kyle, no problem. Happy to happy to share these these live streams with you guys. Um, <laughs> hey, you don't have to jump to Luna just yet. Um, I just I know the sound is cool and it's new. I mean, you know, as the as it grows, you'll grow with it. There's not a whole lot to catch up on. 
um, you know, it's still pretty new and the Luna live streams are, are awesome like for learning stuff too, like their Monday office hours. And of course my channel, I always put videos out on it. Um, got some more in the works here. I can't help fight it. Fight. Help. Let's tune this up. Help. Here we go, there's that one. I'm gonna have to cut this all up. So you just pitch drift like um, baby, um, blue. Weird. Blue. This might not be a good result. I'm trying to correct it too much, I think. Fight it, baby, I'm losing control. Oh, that sounds like your average pop radio song. So it's definitely tuned too much. <laughs> it's not too bad. I can't help fight it, baby, I'm losing control. Alright, so I'll have to do something about this ending here. Um, also, one thing I haven't been doing is checking for timing. Definitely haven't been doing that. Losing control. All right, so I gotta fix the end of that. Ugh. Let's re reset these, shall we? Control. I think that's what's messing with me. Is this guy? So we're gonna chop this up. Control. Something's funky going on there. I don't know, I might just have to go back and re-record or choose a different comp from that. That'd be um, probably the best way to do that. Um, well, anyway guys, I think that this is gonna primarily be the, um, hold on, let me see where I'm at here, yeah. I think this is probably gonna be where I have to leave you guys. I, I really appreciate you guys joining. Um, thank you for your comments and uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching kind of how I work on this and seeing it in action. Um, you're, you're watching the actual progress take place on this track. So uh, as soon as this track's ready, I'm sure you guys will find out about it. I'm, excuse me, we're gonna film a music video for this one, so that'll be out. Um, and I'm not sure exactly when, but uh, yeah. Anyways, if you guys, again, if you guys want to support the channel, go to thestevekinney.com. I don't know if I have a, I don't know if I have like a um, buy me a coffee option, but maybe I should have something on there. But I always tell people if you want to support the channel, Heritage Classics Packs, Console Classics Packs, great way to do it. And you get my presets and you also see how you can get creative with the Apollo platform. So that's really cool. Or if you want to do one-on-one -on -one consultations and just spend time with me one-on-one -on -one and I kind of mentor you and walk you through some, some whatever you want to talk about, really. It's kind of an open forum, but uh, I'd, I'd be happy to do that. You just reach out to me through the website. There's a link for that, too. Um, so, yeah, anyway, guys, I, I really appreciate you guys jumping on here. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. We'll see you in the next live stream. All right. Cheers, guys.